The raid on Michael's doctor's home today. Tito Jackson's last conversation with his brother, Debbie Rowe in a drugstore, and Joan Rivers on a rampage. The Insider in HD is next. The Insider is in front of the major development unfolding right now. I'm Lara Spencer. The Insider in High Definition starts right now. DEA officials raid the home of Michael Jackson's doctor today. The new break in the death investigation as Michael's brother Tito goes on the record about the drugs. He did uh, have a problem with the prescription situation. Their final conversation. Those were the last words we had with each other. But is Tito keeping a family secret? When I get back home, I would be uh, asking a lot of questions. Plus, what Debbie Rowe is doing in a drugstore. This just in. Is John Travolta leaving Scientology now? Tony Romo's new Jessica lookalike. Like Kim Kardashian and Reggie call it off. I'm Samantha Harris in New York with the Insider's summer hookup and breakup scorecard. Who is the next star couple to split? Reports say that he didn't even see it coming. And just turn that thing off for a second. What sent Joan Rivers on a wild rampage? Shut up, you bastard. You shut up to your big Oh, she's biting me. Now, from Hollywood, here's Lara Spencer. Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Insider in HD. We are tracking the latest developments in the Michael Jackson death investigation. The newest information is in tonight's Most Tracked Story. Dr. Conrad Murray, did you ever meet him? Never seen no, the guy. Him, uh, the first time I heard his name was associated with Michael's death. Tito's new interview, Michael's brother and confidant, has authorities today raid Murray's Las Vegas home. New images, officers executing a search warrant and looking for clues into Michael's death. Obviously, L.A. is looking at it possibly from a, uh, a manslaughter or a homicide investigation. Today's raid is just the latest development in a month-long investigation. Police sources are connecting the dots. The raid just hours after Jackson's doctor made news on the network morning shows. There is this report this morning that it was Michael Jackson's personal doctor, Dr. Conrad Murray, who gave him the propofol. So is Dr. Murray about to be charged? And prosecutors don't want an OJ moment. They're going to be meticulous and build this case carefully. Murray's attorney with this statement, we will not be commenting on rumors, innuendo, or unnamed sources. Next, the chaotic scene inside Michael's private sanctum. A source tells AP the top floor was a mess and that it was stiflingly hot, and there were 20 handwritten notes on the walls. One handwritten note reportedly read, children are sweet and innocent. This was sort of a, a running theme in Michael Jackson's life. It doesn't surprise me then that he would have had, you know, this, this strange note in his bedroom. J. Randy Terraparelli is the author of Michael Jackson, The Magic, The Madness, The Whole Story. And there's more. Jackson reportedly used the powerful anesthetic propofol to sleep, relying on the drug like an alarm clock. I think it, it shows you how desperate Michael Jackson was in the final years of his life for a good night's sleep. When I get back home, I will be uh, asking a lot of questions. Now, Tito's new interview with Ultimate Jackson Insider Flo Anthony on the intervention that could have saved Michael. There was a report out of London last week that you said that you went to Neverland once to try to talk to him because you had heard about prescription pains. He was in pain from uh, being dropped on stage and from the Pepsi Cola commercial, and uh, he had gone on one tour where uh, he did uh, have a problem with the prescription situation, and uh, I was just checking to make sure if things were still okay with him. And what did he tell you? He said he was fine, you know, he's in good health. Do you think the toxicology reports may find prescription drugs? I don't know what they would say. I, I have no clue. And we do have more Jackson coverage on the way. Here's what's ahead. Tito reveals his final conversation with Michael. Plus, where we just found the mother of Michael's first two kids, Debbie Rowe. But right now, let's send it to Samantha Harris in New York City. There we have more star headlines than Times Square has tourists. So let's get right to the gossip. 
Travolta defends Scientology. In the wake of the death of his son Jet, reports flew that John Travolta was disenchanted with Scientology. The actor's rep putting those rumors to rest, saying he is a Scientologist, quote, now and forever. Does John Gosselin have a new reality show? New photo, John working hard in the Hamptons. Hobnobbing with Michael Lohan and fiance Aaron Muller and some TV production execs. That sign in Aaron's hand reads, Divorce Dad's Club. Sprinkle in a few reported meetings with attorneys and it all seems to point towards a possible TV deal. Meanwhile, Kate still wearing her wedding band. New photo, the embattled mom grabbing a cup of coffee, making no attempt to hide that diamond ring. The incredible shrinking Christian Bale. New photo, the Terminator star in Boston, skinny, almost unrecognizable. Christian today, Christian just a year ago. So why so thin? Bale is on the set playing a drug-addicted boxer for his upcoming film, The Fighter. His last dramatic weight loss for a role? The Machinist in 2004. Heidi's baby bump, a family day at the lake for Heidi Klum and her three kids. Also along for the ride, baby number four. Hollywood.tv catching Heidi looking fit, expecting a little girl in the fall. And this just in, Misha Barton has reportedly left the psychiatric ward and is headed back to work on the new TV show, The Beautiful Life. Now check out the cover of the new Us Weekly, Jessica Simpson and the other woman. Jess is just one of the celebs we're tracking to see who is hooking up and who's breaking up. Here's the latest romance news. A source says Jessica is absolutely heartbroken. According to Us Weekly on Sands Friday, even months before Tony Romo called it quits with Simpson, the football hunk already playing the field, sending flirty texts to this 22-year-old Jessica lookalike. If you look at the two women, there's definitely a resemblance. I mean, they're both beautiful, they're both blonde, and they both have interest in Tony. Next summer hookup today, Guy Ritchie scorching hot. Check out this new photo, Madonna's ex toasting model twins in Sardinia. One sexy sister wrapped in his arms while cheering the other sis over a summer lunch. Now the latest summer breakup. Okay, when are you two little lovebirds gonna get married? Apparently never. The temperature dropping for reality beauty Kim Kardashian and NFL boyfriend Reggie Bush. Well, this is the summer breakup shocker. The duo saying the sun has set on their relationship due to busy schedules. Finally, the ultimate summer hookup ending in marriage. I'm talking wedding plans with Max and Karina exclusively on The Insider. Right, tell me, wait, what's the dress look like? The dancing lovebirds heating up Broadway in Burn the Floor. And summer wedding bells will be ringing next June. So we need like the tips, what to do, what not to do. I always have so much fun with Max and Karina. They are so great together. But I have one more breakup to announce. The middle Jonas brother, Joe, has split from girlfriend, Camilla. Joe and his bros were out last night at the screening of the new animated film, Ponyo. Now check out what's coming up next on The Insider. Oh. I don't care who you are. You on the set is Joan they Rivers melts right down. Water. What made the Hollywood legend lose it? How dare you? You've seen the Jackson video, fidgeting, biting his nails. Now, what Michael's bizarre body language could reveal. When you see people doing that, they're on the edge. Plus, more from Tito, breaking his silence only to our Jackson family insider on where Michael's body is right now. I was told that Michael was at Forest Lawn. Is that true? The Insider in High Definition returns in a moment. Hi, I'm Paris Hilton, and you're watching The Insider on HD. Now it's time to play the Insider.com's hit celebrity game, Who's More Popular on Our Website This Week? Is it Britney Spears or Jennifer Lopez? If you answered Britney, you're right. How about Angelina Jolie or Robert Pattinson? Make your guess and keep watching. We'll reveal the correct answer right after the break. Now, Tori Spelling and hubby Dean McDermott cozy up in the Insider photo booth by Herbal Essences. <laughs> <laughs>
Tori's showing off those luscious locks while Dean is playing it cool. Ah, excellent. Part one of the Tori and Dean Home Sweet Hollywood finale airs tonight on Oxygen, and Tori prepares for her daughter Stella's first birthday party. My only reservation about today is how things will turn out with my mother. All right, back to the photo booth. The lovebirds are goofing off. That's a really good shot. Tossle me softly from Herbal Essences. Be luscious. So this morning, I styled with Tausel Me Softly and became a rock star with perfectly imperfect rocked out tousles. Then reality struck a chord. Someone's been doing the herbal. New Herbal Essences Tausel Me Softly collection. Closed captioning provided by. <laughs> whoa, 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 don't put me on that thing. Help! Hey, look, we're on the guest list. Uh, that's the menu. I've known Henry since I was six years old. I travel through time. There's no such thing as time travel. Destiny brought them together. It's you. Is it too weird? No, I've been in love with you all my life. Time is keeping them apart. I can't stay. I'll wait for you. On August 14th, make every moment count. I want to change one second of my life. The Time Traveler's Wife, rated PG-13, starts August 14th. Now for the Insider.com question we asked before the break, who's more popular on our website this week, Angelina Jolie or Robert Pattinson? The answer is Robert Pattinson. If you'd like to keep playing, log on to TheInsider.com. The Insider is giving you the full report with the details you won't soon forget. It is time to go in depth. If you do not destroy the Ark, then mankind will pay dearly for the consequences and destroy the storm. Do that line again? You've seen the video. Michael Jackson fidgety, biting his nails, slurring his words while rehearsing his lines for the 2004 indie film Miss Castaway. The place is on surviving on the ark. Now the body language breakdown with R. Don Steele, author of Body Language Secrets. He's controlling his anger. Biting is almost always disguised anger. He became more and more and more annoyed as the rehearsals dragged on. And near the end, he's licking his lips. That's generally dry mouth, which means I'm getting very angry. And when you see people doing that, they're on the edge. On edge, perhaps, but was Michael on drugs? Sometimes when he was fidgeting around and his legs were shaking, I think he was just happy and enjoying himself. I saw no drug type behavior at all. Director Brian Michael Stoller, who shot the outtakes at Neverland's library in July 2003, says he saw no evidence of drugs. There was nothing that ever made me um, wonder or think that Michael was on any kind of medication. But Michael Jackson was clearly a man in emotional pain. In the sad scene when he takes his glasses off and looks in the camera, that kind of broke my heart. He looks so sad. like. A person that has no friends on the planet it was very painful. The Insider has a lot more news ahead. Still to come here. Wish I had a, a said goodbye in a different way. Tito Jackson's regret over younger brother Michael and why he refused to come face to face with him. Well, I didn't want to see him in that situation. Plus, Debbie Rowe in a drugstore. What she was showing off on her phone inside the Beverly Hills Pharmacy. Who's in charge? Slapping, huh? cursing, attacking. Why is Joan Rivers fighting mad? Where is my agent? Don't, can I Don't touch me, damn it! There are the angles only the insider could uncover, so leave it right here. Escape to reality with the new precision of Wii Motion Plus, rated E for everyone. Early afternoon, sidelined by a migraine. Late afternoon, on the sideline of your kid's game. 
Migraine pain is no match for the headache experts at Excedrin. Excedrin, what ache? Discover what happens when you add the richest, most delicious flavors from around the world to your cup of coffee.